What's up, Atlanta? It's Taisha with Jade and Mo, and this is my new song, Sorry. We have the beautiful singer, songwriter, and dancer, Taisha, joining us. Welcome. Hey, everybody. I'm so excited to be here, and I'm just especially excited to be here with you thank you so much i'm so excited i've been following you for a minute you like, like what you see i love what i see uh -huh. you give me this feeling of like true artistry coming back all forms oh songwriting singing production of course on the music but also performance because i feel like we're lacking that today you're gonna make me cry because really i just be keeping it real and sometimes people will be like taisha either like um putting too much of myself out or maybe I should hide things about myself but when I hear things like that it makes me know that it's worth it and it I'm comes being through. legit. It comes through. It comes through everything in your vibe even your look. Of course we know that you're a Caribbean girl an island girl but also I mean it just it translates in so many ways. Your dance, and your I'm videos. stern too. Okay. Yeah. Let me know. We're gonna Don't get into that. With me. We're gonna get into <laughs> that when we talk about sorry I promise because I need okay. you to give the girl some tips. Here okay. Mm -hmm. Um, Let's talk about just a little bit of your background because I'm also multicultural, so I know how big representation is to us and what it means for us to look at girls that look like us on the screen. Yeah. That lets us know that we can achieve those heights. So just talk about that, your Cambodian background, your Dominican background, you know, your mom and your dad and how that sprinkles into to who you are. I mean, my parents are everything to me. I look up to them a lot. Um, my father is a super hard worker. He escaped like a whole genocide to come here. Well, I was the first person in my whole family to be born in the states okay but my mom came here when she was young like nine ten years old and you know she really liked to like uh we were they were living in new york so she liked to like the culture she put me on to a lot of things like Aaliyah and little kim and all that stuff i did see a cute tweet that you had posted what at I some say? point this week and you you're like me on twitter <laughs> i'm such a mess on twitter oh uh, you're like when i get some money i'm gonna take my mama out because i need that soca flavor and she's ready to dance and i want to turn her party flavor up so is that where your dancing love for dance comes from yeah because when i was younger literally every single weekend my family would have a party and um when my mom was in school my mom had me wicked young so when she was in college she was in a dance group Sorry, I'm like it's really okay. sucking the hell out of this <laughs> mood. <laughs> it's okay. We love it. My bad. But she was in a dance group with my uh, auntie Simi, who's Trinidadian. Okay. And they would just really be like cutting up a rug. And that's all I would see. So that's all I would know. Like I was dancing as soon as I could walk. Like I was saying on Twitter, like I would really want to like grow and be the biggest person that I can just so they could retire early and kind of chill and, you know, have a fun life. Absolutely. Have a fun rest of their life because they put me on to so much fun stuff. Absolutely. What's the party that you're getting ready to have here in Atlanta? And what else do you have going on while you're here in the city? Honey, I'm at a party right now with you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We live. We Are you live. guys doing anything um, special for the rest of the week? You said you're going to be doing some writing camps, working on more music or more yeah. performances. I mean, I'm always looking for music. I love being in the studio. It's literally like if I'm not if I'm traveling and I'm not in a hotel, I'll be in the studio. Yeah. Um, but I'm having fun. Really, they're saying the strip clubs in Atlanta are dope. Yes, strip, there's no other in the world that can Strippers prepare. love me because I be dancing like a stripper in the club and they're like, uh oh, do you dance? I'm like, not like you, honey. And then they're like, oh my God, she's so sexy. Yes. They come to me and then I'm like, yo, whoever guy I'm with, because girls aren't supposed to spend money in the strip club. Okay. Whatever guy I'm with, give me like a hundred and one so I could, you know, throw it. Yes. So Where does your there. ultimate confidence come from of just being so comfortable with being yourself? It comes from my mom, my mom, my aunts, my grandma, because I just like I really never learned anything different. It was normal to you. They, they embrace that with you. Yeah, it makes a difference. All of my family is super confident women. And growing up, my mom would always tell me, oh, girls are going to have a problem with you, you know, and I was like, why would they have a problem? She told me that since I was like a baby. But when I got to high school and stuff, I was like, oh, my God, my mom was right. Yeah. But it's just like I already had those tools instilled in me. And even in like doing music too, you know, it's kind of the same way sometimes. It prepared you for it. Yeah, it pre she prepared me for, for life as a woman. Okay, so I want to talk about that because 
you were discovered, of course, through putting out your own content, dancing, constantly showing people your skills, your talents, and they, that's how you were, you know, found and people were ready to invest and stand behind your career. So I just so appreciate you because, like, look how much you really, like, care about me and I look do. into me and stuff. Like, I really appreciate that. Of course. You're so welcome. I want to talk about, because it's such a... Not only is it a hard physical journey on the body to have to, you know, go from zero to 100 and you have a, you're living a whole new lifestyle now, constantly traveling, constantly being ready to, you know, put on a good face and be happy and, and, and speak with people. How have things changed for you? I love singing. So any chance that I get to sing is so fun for me. Any chance I get to dance, even if I'm learning a routine or, you know, I'm just exercising my craft. That's amazing to me. Like, I'm so blessed to do something that I love. You know, I feel more responsible for people now because people in my family and stuff, they're looking at me like, Taisha, are you going to do it? Are you going to do it? You know, everybody is looking from, to me to kind of like help elevate their lives. So I'm responsible for a lot of people. We're, when we get older, we're not just responsible for ourselves. Right. We can't be selfish. We have to look towards, you know, our parents, our kids when we have them, our siblings. Yes. Our friends you know we have to take care of the people in our lives and I feel extra responsible now because I've been giving such a huge platform that I could really explore and maybe make something big of myself absolutely so that's how things have changed for me but as far as working wise like I love what I do yes it's amazing how do you want the girls to feel when they hear you what do you what what are you trying to give them so that they can feel that on the receiving end and and why is it so important for you to, to speak your voice and your music as a woman? I'm trying to give them sexy. I'm trying to give them confidence. One thing that I didn't really realize um, until recently is the fact that a lot of girls, they don't have or they didn't have somebody to look up to. Like they didn't have a big sister. Mm -hmm. They didn't have a mom that was confident or could teach them how to do their makeup, how to walk, even how to wash themselves, how yeah. to take care of themselves, you know? So I feel like a lot of girls look to me that way. And even if I could put some of those morals and demeanor into my music, that's the world to me. So that's a lot of the things that I want to spread. Absolutely. So I saw that you had worked with, um, I don't want to mess up their name. Wave. Nova Wave. Yeah. Okay, so just even, even in getting to work with uh, a lot of women, and I'm so happy that there's so many more women that we get to look at, so many flavors and, you know, a little bit of everything. So um, working with women, even you having worked with Sweetie on uh, One Night Thing, like, mm -hmm. talk about that. What was that like just getting to meet her? How, how did she receive you? And did she leave you with anything when you left, even if she didn't verbally say it? It was great. She was gorgeous. There was one so funny part when we were together, right? That, like... Um, <laughs> I had a moment on set, like a really personal moment, and she called me out on it with her face. And I was like, okay, she's seen me. So I knew she was smart, you know? Uh, which I so like, not that I appreciated, but I was like, wow, she, that's a smart girl. Like mm. she knows what she's doing. She knows her environment. She knows what she's talking about. Um, working with the Nova Wave girls was super cool too. It's always nice to be around women. When we were in that session, it was like literally no boys allowed. Like any boys who had came with me or any boys that were with them, it was no. Okay. So the day that I met them, we had like a two hour talking session, like gossiping. Oh. Yeah, it was cute. Yeah. <laughs> cute. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I love, sorry, love your new song. It came Thank out mid-October. Talk to us about that and the message behind it. So sorry. You know, like when you go through a heartbreak, Sorry is about your journey back up from rock bottom and just like really reconnecting and refinding yourself and being like, now that I'm here again, I bet you're sorry now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why is it so important to know when to walk away and leave it alone? Because people will really run you down forever. They will run you into the ground because as much as you would like to think people care about you, they really don't. <laughs> They really don't. And sometimes you'll care about a person more. So especially being, you know, younger. Sometimes we have to be a little bit selfish. Yes. Even if some of the things we do, 
technically aren't selfish and that's just how we categorize it that's just what we gotta do absolutely yeah we gotta protect ourselves and our peace and our futures okay i know that we um just as a people we always talk about red flags a lot what are some of taisha's like two or three green flags on a dude oh green flags <laughs> oh my god um when his lips aren't chopped <laughs> That's a super green flag because I know everything about you is wet and moist and nice. Okay. Um, <laughs> and we like the gloss. We love gloss. We love the gloss. Um, <laughs> What's another one of your green flags? A second green flag um, is when he has a good relationship with his mother. Like if he's always kind of talking to his mom. Hey mom, how are you? He can't be a mama's boy. But if he's nice to his mom and everything. Because I've seen some boys who are really kind of mean to their mom yeah and that means they'll be very mean to you right it's true because that's the first woman in his life right like she pushed you out of her nana ah, so ah. how are you gonna disrespect her that means you could treat me like nothing okay mm -hmm. very very true so tell us um just what some of those what were some moments that really just like took your breath away as far as performances or new places that you've been even just buildings or offices that you've walked into that you're like you know wow i'm here and do you ever feel do you ever feel imposter syndrome that you're like, oh, it's me. It's, it's me that everyone's getting excited for. Yeah, I mean, um, honestly, I feel that a lot because, you know, I'm just a girl and I'm just having fun. Like, I love being on stage. Even before I was singing and stuff, like, I love to be on stage, like, uh, for parties and stuff because everybody would just let me on stage to dance. Yeah. You know, and it's so fun to me. Um, but one moment that really, really took my breath away was when I was performing in Hawaii because mm. I was the only person um, performing, headlining and stuff. And, you know, I'm not huge yet, but the people who were there were there for me. Awesome. Taisha, blah, blah, blah. Yo, my heart literally almost came out of my chest and it was so fun. Like, it really felt like I was performing for a bunch of my friends, which yeah. is, I always thought, like, Getting into music would kind of be light. So that's something that really like, took my breath away. I love that. Super beautiful. What do you want to say to the girls, uh, all, girls of all ages? Because they don't have to just be younger than you. Anybody that's looking at you that's like, I want to do what she does. And they, they are really hungry. They're already practicing their craft and they're getting ready. Maybe they have no resources. And they're like, I don't even know how to start, but I have the talent. What would you suggest to those people? Be as authentic and organic as possible. Because the right person or the right people will notice. Great advice. So what are you looking forward to? What are you looking forward to this year? We know that we're kind of, you know, here in this fourth quarter. So obviously there's a lot to look forward to in 2023, but also the end of the year. There's still a lot of time. So what can we expect from you, of course, coming moving forward? And what are you ready for? What do you want to claim in the, in the universe? I mean, I want to claim world domination. Okay. I want to claim <laughs> top 40. Yes. I think a few more singles before I put out an album, even though I have like so much music done. I'm still every day like in the studio or meeting up with people trying to outwork myself and oh, can I get a better record? Can I get a better this? Can I get a better that? So I think people can look forward to just something really um, I don't know if I could say kick A, but kick butt from me. Yeah, you know? absolutely. <laughs> I want to pull up some of I'm you. Have, you have some with you, okay, by the way. I'm just glad. So like you know, I'm having I'm so a really glad. great time. I love when the girls come. It makes me so happy. I feel really comfortable and happy. Good. Okay, I want to go through your gram because you got some bomb pics. Okay, and I just want you to tell us the story behind some of them, okay? <laughs> because the carnival pics, I was just like, are you guys doing anything later after this? Or are you chilling out? I want to go to the strip club. Yes. I keep putting it into the air and nobody has been like, yes, Taisha, I'm going to give you a stock. Like, we'll throw it on some bitches. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know if I can make it happen tonight, but I would freaking love to take you out to the strip club. I, I'm going to okay, be we're gonna make it happen. until like middle of next week. Okay. Oh, we're definitely going to make it happen. Then. <laughs> okay. So it was pouring rain at Carnival, but I was like, it was literally pouring rain, flooding. My socks were flooded. My shoes were flooded. It was freezing. But I was like, I got to go mash up. So me and my homegirl are walking with like a big umbrella that I stole from a hotel. And I don't <laughs> think we returned it. Um, so we walked. And uh, at that point, I hadn't gotten my feathers from the truck yet because okay. they were holding it from me. 
And there was this boy who kept like kind of looking at me, creeping up on me. And I was like, okay, like, let's dance, bra, bra. He was cute. He was short. Like, you know, I like short guys. Okay. So I was like, okay. Boop, boop. And that's when that picture got taken. I love it. Because that camera guy was in my face. And I was like, let me grab something for you, too. <laughs> so that's why I'm grabbing myself in the first picture. I could not. Okay. Yeah, I was being I bad. love it. I love it. I love it. How do you shoot your shot? Do you shoot your shot? Or do you like them to come first? Often. Ooh. Yeah, often. Because we got to get what we want, too. Yeah. Okay. You know, usually, we're like... If I see a guy in person when I shoot my shot, if I see a guy, like, I'll just give him the, like, <laughs> sexy eyes. Hello. <laughs> um, Is that as far as it goes? Yeah. Or are you going to tell him anything? No. He's got to do the rest. You give Honey, him if that doesn't get him, I don't need him. <laughs> Some of these I would love to ask, but I'm like. No, just, we'll find out. just us. <laughs> you know, I'm an open book. I don't keep secrets from you. Where were you performing during this? And what uh, was this like? You know what's so funny? That I was doing a kids festival. In that oh, picture. yeah? Aww. Yeah, I was doing New York City Youth Pride. And before I got on stage, my dancers were asking me, how crazy should we get? I was like, kids love ass. They Kids, kids love to dance love, all the way, yeah. No. <laughs> kids love to see ass shaking because when you were younger who are you looking at it's so true it's so true people think oh we got to censor ourselves from the kids no they like that stuff it's that's funny. what they they look they see that and they're like i want to do that when i'm older i know that's what i was doing <laughs> so yeah that's where that piece, that picture came from i love that picture <laughs> what's the story behind this uh i was at um a sunday party in miami like a sunday dance hall party and I actually dressed myself for that the night before because my friend made that bra. Her name is Adriana Aww. Sahar. I love that. She's really dope. Oh, yes. I know her from... Yeah, she has like... You know cool, Adriana? Yes. She's amazing. She's one of my favorite designers. Very dope. So she gave me that bra and I just bought those pants recently from Express. The crystals though? I made those. I love that. Yeah, I make my waist beads. Yeah. And these glasses I stole from a boy. <laughs> so I was like, that's going to be my outfit. And here's my passport and my nani because I didn't want to carry <laughs> my purse because I thought I was going to lose it. That's why you used hashtag passport poom poom. Yeah. Okay. Because it's like you looked at me and then you saw my identification. <laughs> <laughs> so when are you going to be performing here? Because I want to be in the front. I hope soon. Yes, absolutely. Soon. We're so ready for you. You you won't be in the front. You'll be backstage. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> stream sorry whoop, whoop. yes stream sorry mm -hmm. and um when can we expect even more music to come from you to add to the rotation honestly um <laughs> honestly technically speaking january but i might go rogue and just put out something myself okay. earlier before that because i think why not okay i love it thank you <laughs> <laughs> Thank that was guys. great, right? Aww. I love thank it. You. Thank you, my love. Mm.